She didn't deserve to die this way. Tonight, we're hearing from the family of an 18 year old who says she was killed in an extreme case of road rage. WMER 2 News Dave Detling has their thoughts on this tragedy and how they plan on remembering her. Well, talking to friends and family, they say that this was a case of road rage gone bad. As police continue to investigate, we're hearing from the family and friends of the 18 year old victim who are calling for the people or person responsible to turn themselves in. What they did to her was unfair and she didn't deserve to die this way. I want them to know that my sister was a good person. And she wasn't doing anything wrong to anyone. The little sister of 18 year old Nayeli Paz sharing her pain, not wanting to show her face for fear of retaliation. She's hoping anyone with information about what happened around midnight Sunday near Horner's Lane and Spangler Way calls Baltimore City Police. Family and friends tell WMAR 2 News Nayeli was riding passenger with her 19 year old boyfriend. The two were reportedly going to the store for food when words were exchanged with a driver of another vehicle. According to family, the driver pulled out a gun and fired, hitting Nayeli in the back and her boyfriend multiple times. She reportedly was able to get out of the vehicle to run for help before collapsing at a nearby home. Baltimore City Police released this photo of the suspect's vehicle, a mid-size SUV, possibly a Cadillac. Family and neighbors hope the picture will generate leads. She's a very good person, man. You know, she was an angel. Now she's gone. Very brave woman, Dota. I have that much damage done to her and run down the street and knock on the door and just scream and let everybody know for help. She got my attention and family of the 19 year old shot says he is still in the hospital, but is expected to survive. Meantime, a vigil is planned for tomorrow night in the 1000 block of Corners Lane. If you have any information about this shooting, you're urged to give police a call at 1-866-7-LOCKUP. Reporting outside Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.